One really great place to go to see subjects in their broader and narrower uh, forms is to go to EBSCOhost as a database collection. And you'll see before you even select a database to search, you have some options along the top toolbar. Those options include subject terms and images. So if you want to search for images within all the EBSCO databases, you can click on images, type in a subject, in the search box, and it will search for images within articles that EBSCO has uh, published within its collections. So if I were to put in something like uh, voting laws, do a search, and these may not be as dynamic as you may be looking, looking for, but you will see that it pulls up uh, some videos, it pulls up different uh, images that are found in articles themselves within uh, magazines and newspapers, etc. The other thing I want to point out is the subject terms option. The nice thing about the subject terms uh, option is that it gives you a breakdown of every subject used within EBSCO to describe their articles. Why this is important for us is sometimes we don't know exactly how our terms can be broadened or narrowed down to give us more specific uh, search terms. So if I were to do the same thing with voting laws, I can browse around for relevance. Uh, I can do relevancy ranked, which means that it will look for these um, results based on the combination of the words voting and laws. And when I browse my search terms, I'll see that I have subtopics or different uh, forms of subjects like voting laws, absentee voting laws, uh, elections, political, political campaigns, voter suppression, etc. To the right, you'll see there's an area to explode these words. What that typically means is that these uh, subjects contain subtopics. So voting laws, I can um, see that it will be exploded out by giving me lots of different subtopics. Absentee voting laws is really in and of itself the subject. So it won't have any additional subtopics. But let's take a look at voting laws as an example. What I'll see within EBSCOhost is they'll give me the broader terms. So what is a term that's broader than voting laws? Well, it's election law. There are a lot of laws related to election that, that don't have anything to do with voting. So it might have to do with registration, things like that. Narrower term would be specifically voter identification laws. And then a related term would just be voting. You can also use voting laws for this particular string, you know, voting uh, law and legislation. And uh, that's the sort of a, a phrase that sometimes people might search for law and legislation within voting. They just say, just use voting laws. If I go back to my list of subjects, let's pick another one like voter suppression. In this case, I don't really have any narrower terms because it didn't say I could explode it out, but I do have a broader term, which is corrupt practices in elections. And if I were to select that broader term, I can navigate around and browse. I can see other narrower terms. Instead of just voter suppression, I now have voter intimidation. Um, a broader term for corrupt practices in elections would be things like criminal law, election law, political corruption, uh, crimes and offenses. So we have lots of different ways of describing terms. Sometimes we can narrow those terms down to a more specific type of corruption in this case, uh, the specific types being suppression and intimidation. And we can sometimes go broader in our search terms to a larger category that would encompass many other types of criminal law, one of them being corrupt practices in election. So I would use EBSCO as a way of gathering up additional search terms. If I see now that voter suppression is, is an idea instead of just, um, uh, or I might do intimidation, I might take those search terms to a source like Google, or I might take them to a different image search option, and I would search for that particular phrase to see if I had any difference in results in my uh, search. I hope that helps give you some idea of how you can broaden and narrow your search topics. If you have any questions, reach out to a librarian. We're always here to help. Take care. Bye.